Hey folks, welcome to this week's edition of Brush Pile Fishing. We're in early March here in my home state of Ohio on Lake Seneca. This is in the southeastern part of the state. Uh, water's really cold right now. The ice just come off last week. I've got a great guest in store. I've known this man for many, many, many years. He used to fish the Buckeye Crappie Challenge, Jerry Martin. This is his home area. He's gonna talk a little bit about the cycles the crappie goes in as far as growing seasons. So it should be a great show. We've got temperatures actually supposed to get up in the 50s today. So you stay tuned, we'll be right back with Brush Pile Fishing. Many people look at a lake and feel a sense of calm serenity. Crappie fishermen feel the heart pounding anticipation of the thump. That's why host Russ Bailey is addicted to crappie fishing. It's this addiction that takes Russ from the Midwest to the deep south in search of the best lakes, techniques, and patterns from some of the best crappie anglers in the country, right here on Brush Pile Fishing. Hey folks, welcome back to Brush Pile Fishing right here at Lake Seneca here in Ohio with Jerry Martin. Jerry, how are we doing today? Oh, pretty good, Russ. I'll tell you what, Jerry, haven't seen you for a while, but we go back quite a few years, don't we? Probably back to 2000. Yes, sir, man, the old Buckeye Crappie Challenge days. Yes. Um, this is one of the lakes in your home area, and this is sort of like we were talking on the phone, like my home lake of Grand Lake. Every so many years it goes through cycles where you catch a whole lot of fish, but a lot of small ones, and it, the, harder, the bigger ones are harder to find, and it's on that cycle right now. Yeah, kind of. It's uh, hit or miss sometimes, but uh, we're going to give her a good little whirl. Okay, and you say we're just getting back to the basics, vertical jiggings? Yeah, brush piles, treetops. Okay. So pretty much that. What kind of water temperatures are we looking at? I had 44 yesterday. It's cold. Yeah, yep. All right, Seneca Lake, here we go, folks. You stay tuned. Getting into the shed. Look at that screen. Think they're hungry? There we go. First one of the morning. Probably a seven inch fish here, folks. Hopefully, we're going to get a few more. We talked in the opening that this is one of those lakes, seems like it goes on cycles. It's a smaller lake where you have a year or two where you get a lot of small fish and it's harder to find the big ones. And then you have several great years. And uh, we're gonna try to pick out a few big ones today, but uh, we should catch this size all day long. Now, how long will it take for that size there to get to 10 inches? It's hard to tell. Every lake's different. Right. They With seem the to bait grow. fish that you guys have, it's, yeah. it's not gonna take long. A lot of it's nutrients in the water too. Right. The good thing is he thumped her. He wasn't messing around. Yep. We're in about 16 foot of water. Again, water temperature's actually about 40 degrees in this little cut. Yes. It is cold. You got him? Yep, black one. So we caught one black, one white. And again, one good thing, Jerry, You've got kids. Oh, yeah. Because these little fish will absolutely thump it, and the action's going to be good all day. Yes. We just, uh, we're on the hunt for a few bigger fish today and see what we can do. But if not, we're in the first week of March, folks. It's in Ohio. It's still cold, and there's nothing like being on the water. I'd rather catch, you know, seven to nine inch fish than sit at home any day. Beautiful area down here too. And that's a, the other thing, Jerry. You know, say you come down here and the weather's not that good. There's so many things to say. A lot of history down in this area. Guernsey County is home to Ohio's third largest inland lake, Seneca Lake. But that's just one of the many reasons to visit. 
like the Wilds, one of the largest conservation centers in the world, or the Georgetown Vineyards with a spectacular view of downtown Cambridge. Guernsey County is also one of the top 10 squatchiest places in the country. Follow the National Road Scenic Byway into the historic town of Cambridge to see the National Museum of Cambridge Glass and take a free tour of the Mosser Glass Factory. Or stop by during the holidays to experience Dickens' Victorian Village. The Living Word Outdoor Drama is Ohio's only outdoor passion play following the life and ministry of Christ. Let your spirit roam free in Cambridge, Guernsey County. Go to www.visitguernseycounty.com to discover more details. b and Polls. That's a three pound crappie. The number one crappie pole company in the world. Got it. Whether you're jigging, trolling, pulling, or pushing, b and has your pole. My signature series rod. Third generation family company with over 70 years experience. Home to the Bucks Graphite Jig Poles. The first and best selling graphite jig pole in the U.S. for over 35 years. b and Poles, the number one crappie pole company in the world. Hey folks, Russ Bailey here from Brush Pile Fishing. We are here in Kentucky at Cornfield Crappie with Mark Riddle. Mark, how are we doing? Good, Russ. How are you? I'll tell you what, you just rigged our boat. Absolutely great products you have. Can you tell the folks about all you have to offer? We got our monitor mounts. We got a new bridge. The thing we've done the most with has been the cable saver. We've actually sold them worldwide. We got a mount to put the live scope on the trolling motor. There you have it, folks. Cornfield Crappie. If you want the boat that looks good, Cornfield Crappie. Brush Pile Fishing is brought to you by these outstanding sponsors. B&M Poles, over 70 years of quality and performance. War Eagle, built for hunters who love to fish. Suzuki, the ultimate four-stroke outboard. Slime Line, catch the fever. Crappie Magnet, sore lip them all. Should have had him. There we go. Hey. A little better. There we go. Hey, we got a double. Ah, that's a baby. That's about a nine inch fish here. And here in Ohio, we've got a nine inch limit, uh, 30 uh, possession. So but we're not keeping any, we're gonna let them grow. So we're gonna send him back. Folks, I'm using the crappie magnet. It's a clear body. And I've got their double cross jig head on in pink and that pink uh, shines through even into the plastic and that's a dynamite bait. I've used that in several different waters I fished and that is one of my favorites. Look at that the tree look, on there. Ain't that cool? Look, yeah. Look at the fish on there. Doesn't Jeez. That, doesn't that look good? All right. There's a limb that comes right here and then there's a bushy area there. Now, a brush pile tip. Hey folks, right now I want to give you a little tip. We're on a small lake. Uh, it's about 3,500 acres. And this is a tip for you guys that maybe have a smaller boat, not a lot of electronics. Of course, we're using our Garmin unit today uh, to see what's at the end of that uh, lay down that we're fishing. Lay downs produce the biggest fish, but if you've got a small boat, say you have no electronics, here's one thing. If you can see the base of that tree that we're fishing, you'll see how round it is. Now, that comes far out into the water, and we can see it on our depth finder, but if you don't have that, try to pick another tree up on the shoreline that has about the same diameter uh, in the base, and then look how tall that tree is, and then follow that part of it down into the water. That'll give you a good end uh, judgment of where the end of that tree is, and a lot of these fish that we're catching today are on the end of it. Uh, so if you don't have a depth finder, you can still catch these early lay down fish. Jerry, we talked in the opening. Me and you met during the Buckeye Crappie Challenge, yes. which was many years ago. That was a heck of a tournament trail we had. And we would get there uh, when it was going good, about 55 teams a tournament. And then 9-11 hit and that uh, the gas prices shot up. And I think that pretty well killed our trail. But a yeah. uh, lot of good guys that fished that and oh, they, were, they were willing to give you information. Yeah, it was a good time. I want to take this time to thank you for just all the things you've done there to teach me, I mean, from a distance and uh, through tapes and different things. And uh, 
come back to my home lakes and really had a great time. <laughs> we were talking off camera. You uh, never fished aluminum lifts before. No, no, no. We're used to 15, 13 foot of water and we'll get over there and it's like everybody's <laughs> using a bobber and only a foot deep. <laughs> yeah. So after three days we made our adjustment, but. Uh, that's for sure. You fish St. Mary's and Indian and Buckeye, and it's it's a lot different. Those shallow lakes. Of course, now Jerry, I know you fish the uh, Northeast Ohio Club, and I've got to meet several of those guys. That's a pretty good group of guys. Very nice, very nice group of guys. There we go. Ooh. There we go. That might be a little, huh? <laughs> you hit it hard. <laughs> yeah, they feel. Man, he thumped it. Right. Yeah, they're a great group of guys. Uh, they. Uh, then they even uh, have prizes afterwards and feed you and yep, Dan and Bob, Elko, two good guys. Yep. And all the people around them that help them. And of course, Bill Phillips yeah. is over there and I've known the same thing. Bill fished the Buckeye for years and he's still fishing the tournaments. Yes, yes. Again, about an eight inch fish, seven inch fish. You know, we're using a live scope today. It's just trying to find some bigger fish on the lake right now. Hey folks, I hope you're enjoying today's show, but I just want to give you a little reminder. If you're one of those people that just cannot get enough crappie fishing, make sure you check out our Facebook page, our website, and now we have the new Brush Pile podcast on iHeartRadio. The app is free to get. Get the app, look up Brush Pile Fishing. All our podcasts are there, free to listen to, so check them out. War Eagle Boats, the most versatile line of hunting and fishing aluminum boats available. We strive to overcome real hunting and fishing obstacles, which drives us to create better products in the future. Check out the Blackhawk 2170, the ultimate crappie fishing boat. Built on a 22-degree V-Hull and paired with a 150-horsepower motor, you get lots of space and performance. All War Eagle boats are built to suit the needs of our customers, guaranteeing you a boat worthy of the investment. Visit WarEagleBoats.com to get your started today high quality American made product at one of the best price points in the industry. Customer service that's second to none. More importantly, they flat out catch fish. The new home for your fishing needs is BoneheadTackle.com. Get all the latest product information. Shop our new and improved tackle shop. We have baits for crappie, bass, striper, sand bass, saltwater and terminal tackle, bait styles and slim stick, stump bugs, brush gliders and bulk jig heads available. Check out our superior mono line, crankbaits for bass and our top of the line carbon fiber fishing rods. Bonehead Tackle, family owned business with one goal in mind. Make fishing more fun and help all anglers catch more fish. Brush Pile Fishing is brought to you by these amazing companies. Grand Lake St. Mary's, Crappie USA, NKT.TV, Rockport Rattler, Power Pole, Bonehead Tackle, Cornfield Crappie. Folks, if you just joined us, we're on Seneca Lake here in southeastern Ohio. It's the first week of March. It has been pretty cold. The ice just went off the lake. Got him. Finally leaned on it. Oh. Black crappie. He's gonna be right at that nine inch range. So it'll be a little bit for these start spawning 40 degree water temperature still. What do you think the key they get temperature in the 60s, is? they'll really be on fire. Yeah. Mid 50s, they'll start moving in shallow, or at least on our home lakes, they do. Yeah, you got shallow water. Yeah. <laughs> Look at them branches. Man, ain't that crazy. The technology, whoever did that one, was really on top of it. I mean, I've watched my lure go down 26 foot of water and touch the bottom at the same time you'd see it touch bottom here. Yep. A 
Good one? Oh, yeah. There we go. A little better. White, a little bit longer fish. Boy, this would be the day to have a kid out here, especially a young kid, just to keep them active. Get them away from the video games. There we go. There oh, we go. Fish. There we go. That's a better. They're here. Getting a few keepers now. And again, just sorting through them little babies. Another good white crappie there. Switch to the purple and we caught a couple decent fish on them. These fish folks, if you just joined us, we're in about 14 and a half foot of water now and they are right on the bottom. You got these branches from these lay downs and they're right in there. Super cold water here in Ohio, of course, in March, they're not anywhere close to spawning. We've got about 40 degree water temperature. And then, like I say, that's pushed these fish. They're right on the bottom. Oh, God, that thing hit. That's going to be a good fish if it's a crappie. Yep. Oh, yeah. That's what we Look used to catch. Look at there, folks. That's what we used to catch, that and better. Now, I'm going to tell you something. They've been hitting any color we've dropped down, but I've dropped, and you put on the purple, I put on the purple, and we're starting to get a little bit better quality fish. It could be one of those things, because it's the same waters. There we go. Like I say, we're just being persistent, sorting through the small ones. We're gonna have a nice little mess by the end of the day. Jerry, you know, off camera, me and you was talking, there's a nine inch, minimum and 30 per angler but I think we both agree that's still too many yeah I'd, I'd rather see it 15 and 40 per boat however many's on it yeah I mean it's you know 15 fish you fly them out there's 30 pieces and you know you always hear the stories about guys that end up throwing fish away out of the freezer because they left them in there too long just take what you're going to eat yep There we go. That might be a nice one. Oh, yeah, he's giving up on me. Yeah. There we go. A little better. Oh, that's a good fish. Uh, oh, yes, yes it, it is. is. Look at there. Yeah, they're out here. Another good cleaner right there, folks. Went back to the clear and picked up that fish. And I love that color with that pink shining through that uh, double cross jig head. Uh oh, what you got, Jerry? Oh yeah, another keeper. We're putting them together, little at a time. Still to come, more brush pile fishing action. Introducing NKT.TV, a brand new solution for the cord cutting generation. With NKT.TV, viewers enjoy viewer specific programming with the ability to pick and choose the channels you wish to subscribe to. Missed brush pile fishing this week? Catch it on NKT.TV, along with all your other pursuit channel favorites. NKT.TV offers dozens of network and channel options for you, the viewer, to choose from. So go ahead, cut the cord, and get everything you want with nothing you don't. Visit NKT.TV today.
want to introduce that the new Brush Pile Fishing Store carries all the gear that I use in the Brush Pile Fishing Show. Just go to www.brushpilefishing.com and check out the crappie shop and find jigs, apparel, line, nets, b and poles, and so much more. In the sale and clearance sections, you'll find deep discounts on the gear that will help you put more fish in your boat. That's brushpilefishing.com. So Jerry, today we're vertical jigging these deep trees. Um, what's your favorite style of crappie fishing, your favorite technique to use? Oh, probably shooting. Okay, <laughs> okay. And probably uh, bobber twitching, I guess. Okay. I'd say 90% of the crappie fishermen all started out using a, a little bobber. Yep. And still something just something neat about watching that thing disappear when you're crappie fishing. Right. Never gets old. Yeah. Oh man, that Sorry. was on the swim. Sorry to tell you where they were. That that thing was falling back. I had pitched it out and he hit it as it was dropping. Yeah, they're all right there. That's the first black crappie we caught in a little bit. Yep. Small. There you go. A little better. Oh yeah, he is. Not bad at all. Look at the belly on that. Look at the belly. You can definitely tell. We saw a bunch of shad on the screen this morning. That thing's got a full belly. Let's check in with Russ for the Brush Pile Gear Check. Hey folks, thanks for joining us. It's time for the Brush Pile Gear Check. Uh, simple rig we were using today. I'll start out with the rod I was using. Uh, this is my 10 and a half foot signature series by B&M. Uh, it's a great flipping rod and great for what we was doing today, just vertical jigging. And one thing, um, early in the morning especially, all those fish were down deep, they were in that brush, so it was a straight vertical jig. As the sun come up, some of the fish would stay deep, some would start to suspend just above that. So you'd see us just raising that barely so slow and picking up them upper fish too. Um, but as far as the reel, I went with the Daiwa spinning reel. Had eight pound high vis slime line. You know I like using my four, but we were in some pretty heavy stuff today, so we went with the eight. And as far as the jig we were using today, the jig head was a double cross by Crappie Magnet. I love that because it's got two little barbs on the actual uh, stem that holds the plastics up. We went with the regular Crappie Magnet. We caught them on every color basically that we dropped in on them, but it seemed like some of the bigger fish for the day came on this pink head the purple and the chartreuse. A lot of us call that popsicle, that combination, but that's what was uh, the best for the bigger fish today. So again, simple rig. I do want to note that because I'm not using a cork, I'm just free falling that. I do use a loop knot and it gives it a little bit more action. Uh, some of the fish hit, it just felt like the line was heavy, but some of them absolutely pounded it. So that worked out really well. So thanks for joining us for today's Brush Pile Gear Check. We have just made our this is our third spot we've hit today, folks. Second spot, got several good keepers out of it. Hitting some more brush piles and a little bit shallower. We're in about 11 foot of water now. And you can tell we're back into the wind. We were uh, blocked off with the island, but we're in it now. Right there. Right there. You dropped it right on him. This is a good There's one. That's a good fish. There we go. It's a black one, too. See, now that's what I caught there uh, two years ago shooting tunes. That size right there. Good black. Now, see, that shows you're on the left of the screen. There we go. Dropped it right down to where that fish was, too. Yeah, that's a better one. Another good keeper. Another good keeper. Another good fish. Got to see that one hit. Did you? Yeah. That's neat. <laughs> right now. Another black. And here we go again. Oh yeah, that's better. That's a white one. Been a good brush pile. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> brush pile fishing. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 
Well, folks, I hope you enjoyed today's show. We ended up with a pretty good mess of keepers, had to sort through a lot of small, small fish. But Jerry, we knew this going in. Like I say, it's one of these lakes here in Ohio that hits that cycle. Um, we were scheduled to take for a long time and this we just happened to hit it on that cycle. Yep. Well, come back in about three, two years. Well, I'll tell you what, with all the bait fish that we found in different areas today, and some of the bellies on those fish. Yeah, they're the numbers. Good. You're going to have, and you've had great years here. Yes. So yes. another two years, I'd love to come back. There you and go. And all them fish we caught today are going to be big mamas. There you go. So folks, I hope you enjoyed today's show on Seneca Lake. And you stay tuned, because we'll be back next week with Brush Pile Fishing. For more brush pile fishing excitement, find us on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram.